Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video of today. We're working on the X5. So I don't know if you guys saw the last video, but we basically got the car driving in one single day, which is absolutely insane. The only major downfall of the car now, the S can see that was just from us trying to fix the car. That's the oil leak it left here. God knows down there right now. We could probably check it out since the car, the car is so high. Yeah, it, it's it's leaking quite a bit of oil, so that's no good. But anyways, that is the only downfall as of now. The car has absolutely no lights on the dash and uh, it drives very smooth. She wasn't lying when she said she got this thing from CarMax. She literally said she got this thing from CarMax like over 10 years ago. Look at that, when you get in the car, the screen turns on. Let's see if it would just crank over you know, for, this is the first, this is a cold start. Moment of truth. Oh, like it's nothing. Guys, check it out. There's no lights on the dash whatsoever. Just this, just the seatbelt because that's because I don't have my seatbelt on. But check it out, full tank as well. Oh my Lord. I just cannot believe how much of a good deal this was. In today's video, guys, we are definitely gonna be cleaning up this interior. I don't know if you guys can see the carpets there, but uh, I'm not liking, like, it, it just, yeah, like, I don't feel clean. Like, I just took a shower, but I don't feel clean. You can see some coffee stains right there. I wanna basically clean up this entire interior today. That's the goal. I actually gotta go to school today. My first day of school is gonna be tomorrow. My first day of well, class, college, um, is tomorrow, my first day back kind of hard to explain. My first day back from college is gonna be tomorrow, but today I'm gonna go in, get some paperwork done, get my moving permits, get my parking permits, all this type of stuff. Need to get it all situated because your boy uh, is going back to school. That's gonna be no fun. I'm still gonna try to plan out every other day uploads, but if I can't manage it, it's gonna be every three days. Um, I hope you guys understand. Just because I have school going on, I'm taking a full load of classes. I wanna graduate as soon as I can. I calculate if I take a full load now, I'll be able to graduate in a year and a half. So it sounds better that way. If I if I go part-time, it'll take about two and a half years. So I don't want to take another two and a half years when I want to dedicate my life to you guys. I guess it's just gonna be, uh, it's gonna be the grind. You know, what else are you gonna do? But I just can't believe this car starts up. I just woke up, got in the car, turned it on, nothing. So smooth. I'm gonna take you guys around the block real quick. Anyways, uh, let's go and put on my seatbelt because I don't want to die today. It's just so crazy I'm sitting in an X5. This car is so massive. I don't I don't know. Like it just doesn't feel right for me. Anyway, it's gonna go ahead, slap her in drive. Where is, do we ever see an oil puddle? Actually, I don't really see a massive oil puddle. That's pretty good. But she driving? It's probably my most hated steering wheel. I hate the steering wheel. But uh yeah, I mean, other than that, guys, idling perfectly. I just can't believe it. I honestly cannot believe it. Okie dokie. I think it's like right there. I think we're good. Check that out, guys. All right, your boy just woke up. He is starving. He is not gonna go to Taco Bell because you know, your boy's working on a little something, something. I'm actually gonna go inside and uh, just probably cook me up some eggs, something like that. And then once my uh, stomach stops beating me up, we'll go back outside and work on the next spot. Just ate my breakfast, enjoy the shit out of it. But now, back to work. So showing you guys uh, pretty much the condition as of now, I might just try to run a cinematic. So yeah, I'm gonna throw this in the cinematic mode. You know I do it for the family, yeah. Give a fuck about a Grammy, yeah. Cause they will never understand me, no. Cause they ain't been through what I've been through. And we never had a plan B, no. But I always been a message, yeah. But they would never understand me, no. Cause they ain't been through what I've been through. Pull up in the truck, got a stack tuck. I remember I was fucked, couldn't make a buck Stuck in a rut, trying to take flight Me and guy in a stupid All right, so uh, what's gonna happen here, Devon is gonna end up dailying the X5 for a little bit, right? Yeah, I guess I'll put on my insurance, put in my name, cause the title is North Carolina, so. It, it's some weird stuff. It looks kinda sketchy if it's not in our name. Yeah. I wouldn't trust it, so I'm just gonna put it in my name drive it and then find a buyer. The lady we ended up buying it from, she, we literally thought it had a California title because it's currently registered in California, but it's some weird shit. Yeah. So he's gonna go ahead and register it. He's gonna go ahead and daily it and everything and uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do next. But as of now, see if it starts up, um, get it on camera <laughs> from our little, cause all we do is just spark plugs, you know, battery, putting some fresh oil. Let's see, I mean, let's see. That started up, I mean, no issues. It, it was a little issue, but I mean, it's perfect. It's fine. Is the idle good? No. It looks pretty perfect. good. All right, bro. Let me know if it makes it to your house. <laughs> All right, man. 
So yeah guys, you'll let me know what's going on with the X5. You're just gonna go ahead and register and all that good stuff. Um, as of now, for me, you guys can see I have no cars anywhere around here. So I need to go I need to go find a car. I have an I have my M3, but that's currently at the shop, and I don't want to go ahead and daily that. As much as I would love to daily it, I can't afford it. It's a car soon. You guys know I'm back in college, so uh it's pretty rough. I just spent $800 on textbooks and I was complaining to everybody that I know, uh, <laughs> all my close family and friends. It was, it's crazy. I gotta take time to do some homework. I'll probably hit the gym later tonight. So I'll keep you guys posted. Maybe we'll do something. Maybe. We'll see. Hey guys, welcome back to another day. So basically, me um, yeah, I saw in the past couple of days, we're just doing a few things here and there. And then today, guys, we're actually gonna be figuring out what's going on with the X5. So that we know there's a leak, but we're just assuming it's the worst case, the oil pan. So we're gonna hope it's not the oil pan. We're gonna go ahead, go underneath there, clean it all off, and wait for it to drip, because it drips pretty quickly. So we'll know immediately where it's coming from. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead, go down there, clean it all up. I'm still waiting on him to come over. They got the garage cleaned up. It's super hot outside so we're not doing it outside we're doing it inside but yeah we're just waiting for him to get over here he's doing some kind of other he has his own pc business so we were waiting on him to sell his pc then he's heading over here guys check out how much this Dude, thing is leaking has to be this thing's leaking so quick these are already all oil spots ac stuff what's going on here uh oh i might have to drop that pan it's leaking pretty quick it could be the valve cover i i it's still possibly an oil pan but i'm actually starting to think because how fast it's leaking it could be like a valve cover or the drain screw all right let me just figure it out real quick guys i'll let you guys know i'll let you guys know in a second Imagine it's so bad to the point to where we just don't even want it for 250. I've never seen that bad. Me neither. That is, that, guys. <laughs> it looks like somebody burnt some fucking bacon on this. <laughs> Put the flashlight on that real quick. Where is it at? I don't know if you guys can see. Oh my lord, they can Look, see that. Get up, get up here. Get up here more. Yeah, you guys can see the edge of that. Look how it goes up. Oh my god. Yep, it's gonna use an oil pan gasket. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, guys, all we did was drop the the front uh, the front tray, but I'm sad to say that that is uh, it's gonna cost about a thousand dollars to replace. Yeah, we're just gonna just gonna put that back together. <laughs> put you down the driveway. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's the thing. When I got my rod bearings done, the good thing is, and like my M3, when I got the rod bearings done, they do the oil pan gasket and all that stuff because it's in the process. So that is like one of the biggest nightmares because you have to drop a lot of things to get to the oil pan, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we're losing too much oil, man. Just just tape a bucket down there while we drive. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and button it back together and I'll let you guys know what's going on here. Hold on. Just the labor? Yes, for labor, 10 <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> so. Oh, no, no, I looked at it, it's definitely. The oil filter housing? The oil filter housing, the car, the oil filter adapter? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll check it out and I'll give you a call back. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, guys, so I called Paul. Unfortunately, I did not have him on the phone for you guys to see, but as soon as I called him and I told him it was the oil pan, he's like, all right, let me check how much labor hours. <laughs> and he's like, oh, hell no. He's like, it's not worth it. And I'm like, dang, how much is it? He said 1100 just for labor. Parts is about like 100 bucks, so 1200 bucks for the job. Um, he said it's not worth it if that's the case, but most often that's not the problem. It's the oil filter. So we're gonna go ahead and take apart the top end of the, the, of the intake just to make sure to see if it's the oil filter because we could get lucky. See in that little crack right there? See if I can get the light in there. It is, you can see a bunch of oil back there. So I'm thinking it's either the oil filter housing or the oil pan or both. Not only gas, now you gotta worry about oil. You're fine, you can just put it in there. Yeah, that's good. You said screw the funnel? Now I gotta clean up my garage because, uh, God bless. All right, guys. I don't know why I'm looking at the screen. You look at you guys. What's going on? 
So yeah, we're at the end of the video and I realize I have no outro, you know, pre pretty usual stuff here. So uh, yeah, so basically the X5 is uh, screwed. Um, let me know what you guys think we should do with it. We can probably sell it like 2000 below market value. So the person that buys it only has to dump a thousand. They got a perfectly running car for a perfectly good deal. We could do something like that or we can try to do some off-roading or something crazy with it because why not at this point? So you guys let us know. Um, I, I am still waiting on the M3. So we're waiting for, you know, the news on that. So in the meantime, probably at least one more video with the X5. Let us know what you guys want to see. Without further ado, guys, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace yeah, out. Yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.